I just saw Stranger Darling, which I guess you could say it's like an indie, it felt like an indie horror thriller, but more of a thriller. And it was fictionalized based on actual serial killer true story. I actually want to look up more details about this because I'm not a big true crime person and I kind of want to look up like how much was fictionalized and how much was true. So I'm going to talk about the gist of the movie and then I'm going to talk about spoilers because if you want to go see it. um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's uncomfortable to watch. It can be disturbing. There's blood. There's gore. Um, There were so many moments that there was just a lot of twists and turns that I didn't see coming. And um, I I loved a lot of the shots and a lot of the visuals. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. So that's my one minute gist review. If you like those kinds of films, I think you'll like it. Um, Now, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you don't want it to be ruined for you, please turn off the podcast now. Um, Okay, I... Like, I, I had no idea that she was the serial killer and that it wasn't him. And the way that it was presented was so well done. And you really did think, like, you were waiting for it to turn of, like, him to actually start abusing her and the fact that he was a cop. And, like, he used the cocaine to, like fuel and energize him to like find her there was just so many twists and turns and I was just like it's based on the serial killer the electric lady I don't know if they kept the same name um and I believe they were saying it was the 70s or the 80s um but it was pretty mind-blowing and I just really didn't see it coming and it was pretty messed up and a little a little fucked pardon my French that she, you know, used and manipulated the fact that she was a woman to pretend that she was being abused and then would just kill people. I was like, what the fuck? Um, Yeah, I just, I did not see that coming. And not in like a cheesy trope kind of way. You know, sometimes you'll see a movie and you're like, oh, of course of course there has to be a twist and it feels a little forced this it was just it just did such a good job telling it from a certain point of view that had you really believing that it like had to be him um and I think they did a really good job in the trailer of that too because when I saw the trailer it was just the way it was presented I was like oh he's the serial killer obviously like they're talking about him like you know usually serial killers are men um I really liked the chapters they would do this thing where they'd have chapters come up and they would show they would show things in different order it was not in chronological order the way that it was shown it was it would like fully show a certain chapter and then they would show the red title thing and it would say chapter and then the number would like scroll or like bump to like ne- another number. Um, and it was just like, anyway, anyway, very, very, very interesting, extraordinary performances by the two leads and also like the other people. And uh, yeah, I'm just like, holy shit, I want to go look up. I'm not a big true crime person, but I want to go look up how much of it was true.